They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Thank goodness. For a sec, I thought I was gonna have to deal with Addison again. <laughs> and no one wants that. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? 
Some people get intimidated. I'm not just some people. I really like the intensity. That's good. It's nice to feel... appreciated. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Ryder. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. If I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually I figured out something was going on, something big with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You're pretty familiar with the ship. I made sure the technicians had what they needed to keep the Tempest ready and waiting. Leadership wanted to strip her for parts, but I kept saying, a Pathfinder's gonna show up. I like being right. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> If we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone. Bleh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Like you said, we had no idea what Helios was really like. What good's a plan? Adapting to problems as they come up. I like that. Good, since you're probably gonna have front row seats to me winging it. Looking forward to the show. Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. And again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ketter using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Scott. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. 
Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? I thought I hated the Kep before. Then we learned about Exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did he keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours! So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. What do you mean, they're missing? They didn't leave voluntarily. No work assignments, no mining expeditions, kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a Pathfinder. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Looks like no one's home. I swear if Sid sent us on a pointless search, I'm going to drill her shin plates. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what the hell was that? Did I land on you? Sorry. So good to finally meet you. And you brought friends. That's even the Pathfinder, if I'm not mistaken. My bait worked better than expected. The missing settlers. Who are you? Why are you kidnapping innocents? Innocents? <sighs> They're criminals. You helped them get away from me. You think I'm gonna let that go? Get comfortable. You'll be here a while. Case of mistaken identity? I'm just as lost as you are. It's okay, Vetra. You don't have to cover for us. 
That was Meriwether. She runs a smuggling ring on Kadara. We worked for her. Vetra helped us get out of it. New lives, hiding in the outposts. So you were helping people. There was no need for all that modesty. That's not modesty. I didn't help anyone. Okay, okay. You didn't help I'm anyone. Out of here. We've tried. There's no way out. There's always a way out. Is everyone okay? Sidera Nix, you've been pretending to be me, haven't you? Uh, how did you... Think I don't recognize my own tricks? And stop using my voice. Sorry. It was just easier to get things done when people thought I was you. You know, because you have contacts and stuff. Sid. So you didn't help us, just like you said. It was... Yeah, my kid sister. Give your sister some credit, Vetra. This wasn't exactly easy to pull off. Roger, don't encourage her. Sid, I know you're in the facility somewhere. Get back in your shuttle and return to the Nexus. But I can help you get everyone out of here. You hacked a door without checking for safeguards. That's help we don't need. So walk me through it. I got eyes on the base. Ryder? If she can tell us what we're up against, that'll be a big help. See? Fine. But she has to follow my instructions. Can you do that, Sid? Yes, Vetra. We'll stay put and follow you when it's safe. Don't want to get caught in the crossfire. The sooner we get going, the better. Sid will alert us if anything's headed our way. Head down the corridor, through the mess hall. That's quickest. Before we go farther, are you in a safe spot? Yeah, I'm tapped into their system from outside. Shuttle's well hidden. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Sid, what do we have coming up? Sid? Uh, looks like... Sid? I think... I think someone found my shuttle. I can hear. I think I gotta... Oh no! Sid! Sid, come in! They found her. They're gonna kill her! Why'd you have to go be the hero, Sid? Stupid. So, so stupid. Sid's leverage. They won't kill her just yet. We just have to be quick. You're right. I think I can trace Sid's signal. Should take us to her. No time to waste, but we have to be careful. They have my sister. Think carefully about your next move, Pathfinder. That explodes. It takes you out, too. You won't let that happen. Vetra. It's going to be okay. We're gonna get you out of this. Okay. We're talking. Now what? Put your weapons on the ground. Are you all right? Are you hurt? I... I think I'm okay. Help's on the way. We're all good, thanks to you. <sighs> I didn't mean for any of this. I'm sorry, okay? You can't just mess around with people from Kadara. They're dangerous. I just... These guys wanted to start over, not be exiles anymore. No one else was giving them a chance, so I thought... I can do that. I can help. These are good people who made bad choices. Your sister did the right thing. She still should have talked to me. I don't want you hurt. There are ugly sides to what I do, and you shouldn't have to deal with them. You started out when you were my age, and you managed okay? That wasn't by choice. You saw what we did here. This isn't all fun and games, Sid. Yeah, I was shocked at first, but I understand now, and I can handle it. I don't want you to have to. Whatever. 
I'm going back to the Nexus, like you wanted. That was intense. Are you alright? Fine. I just need some time to think. Hey, at least the settlers are safe. Thanks for helping me out with this rider. Can we just get moving now? Damn it, Sid. What's going on? I get influence with power players, only to have it squandered by a sister calling in favors under my name. Do you know she got the genome for... Oh, what is it? Cats. Pulled from storage. One, there's no place to grow anything right now. Two, it seems they aren't even a food. So why? Lots of people love cats. They make them happy. I don't think we're in a position to put amusement over necessities. She just doesn't think. Tries to help everyone, damn the consequences. And she thinks what we do is so exciting, but doesn't really understand what it takes. Because what we do is exciting. We make people's lives better. You make it sound so wonderful. We see some real shit. But we don't quit because what we do matters. It does, doesn't it? Even on the worst days, knowing we make a difference. To make a difference is probably all Sid wants. But what if she gets herself into another mess? What if she gets hurt? Whatever happens, I'm here for the both of you. I care about Sid, because I care about you. Ryder, I... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. How about I let you get back to work? You realize that even if I do find it, it's gonna cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the cat activities down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The cat can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing cat over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. You were mad at Sid for wanting non-essentials. Now you're using contacts to find a lamp? Maybe Sid had a point. The small things keep us going. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has... the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future. Yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt-naked Asari for the stand, and she's holding... a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp. The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes, or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Do you really want to start over, after everything you've been through? I don't know. The point is, I have the choice of changing if I wanted to. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess, and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. I think my dream is finding someone special to explore the galaxy with. Oh. And have you found that person? I'm pretty sure I have. You'll love her. She's tall, great with guns, and getting people to do what she wants. <laughs> You were right. The view is great from up here. We're not even to the top yet. Come on, I'll race you. And no jump jets. We're doing it the old-fashioned way. What do I get if I win? What would you like? The bad guy defeated, a magic sword, and the girl. Good thing you're losing then. I don't have a magic sword.
Having fun? You look like you're having fun. Hey. Is this real? Yeah. I think the sky's real. No. This. How you are towards me. It's like you... care more than a friend. I don't mind if it's no. I just want to be sure it gets messy otherwise. I do care about you. More than a friend. Really? I didn't want to assume. Seems so unlikely. Me, you. And how's that for proving it? I'm convinced. Hey, Ryder. You busy? I've got a surprise for you. Petra? Sorry. This way. Watch your- Ow! Shins. Can I open my eyes now? Okay, just a little more. Good. Open. Surprise. I don't get it. I... I thought it would be obvious. It's a dinner date. I made it for you myself. It's steak. Cow. Earth cow? It just said cow on the packet. Does it matter? I don't know if this is safe to eat, Petra. If you're afraid of bacteria, I'm pretty sure it's been irradiated. I wonder if it's still frozen on the inside. I've never cooked human food before. <sighs> never mind. I guess this isn't working. I just wanted to show you how grateful I am. This journey has taken centuries. But we see the destination clearly now. Because of you. You care about my sister. You care about me. For me. Not because you can get something out of me. I love you. I just don't want to ruin it. I thought... Nothing's ruined. It would take a lot to ruin this. Really? Because I love you, too. I think I know how to make all this up to you. <laughs> Please, no more food. No. I think you'll like this. We always seem to be so close, but never close enough. You mean the Remnant City? Meridian? I was so sure we'd reached the end. I had a bottle of Drossix Blue ready to go. I hope you're planning to share that. So I can wake up to the headlines? Pathfinder, Pathfinds Victory, laid low by Turian Brew. Not a party unless I'm passed out at the end. From your stomach literally exploding? Why don't I find something better suited to humans? Hopefully we'll have something to celebrate soon. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Hey, Ryder. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? Come on, that'd be the fourth time now. Our luck can't be that bad. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. 
I've been going back and forth. Glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. The hard way is how we win. Every time something goes wrong, we learn a little more. More about the cat, more about the remnant. It's never a waste. And we're together. No matter what happens, at least we won't be alone. I can't wait to see the Archon's face when he sees you didn't go down as easily as expected. I've got people standing by and Sid's coordinating things on that end. Feeling good about this? The crew's locked and loaded. I just need to know that you're holding up okay. All this pressure. I feel like I'm going to fly apart any second. Hey now, no flying apart. We need you. I need you. I know. The victory is being broadcast out to everyone. Angara, Milky Way, everyone. I don't think I could have done this without you. Sure you could have. I just shoot at things. Wanna ditch these losers? Read my mind. So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. Maybe I should leave you two alone, huh? No need. We'll get time alone before too long. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day. Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So, we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up. Leaving home. Doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Sounds like you two have a good arrangement. It's getting there. A little trust goes a long way. Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. so soon? It's no fun having the boss at the party. That depends entirely on the type of leader. I'm new to this role myself. The training didn't cover how to honor your peers. There's no protocol. Your father invented this role, but you defined it. Meridian is humanity's home, and maybe one for all of Helios. We did that, but I'm the Pathfinder. I should be out there on the Tempest with all of you. Let's go home.
Suvi. Gotta love her, but those green snack things she's making for Liam's movie night? Let's just say they're probably better suited to throwing at the screen. You've got a better idea? Yeah, actually. Cora lent me an initiative access code so I could track down some contraband. Long story short, someone on Kadara Port has popcorn. And Grexen, which is like your popcorn, only better because I can eat it. Someone smuggled popcorn across galaxies. It's light and people would pay big credits for it. Why not? Fair enough. I could track some down the next time we're there. Thanks. It'll be nice to have a treat out here, you know? I got the popcorn. And whatever Graxon is. Thank you. I owe Cora for letting me use her clearance. This'll be fun, like watching vids with Sid when she was little. They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. You left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we could fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, oh, montage. Don't cut bits out. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene. Going once. Going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! But it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. I think a charm offensive might be more... rewarding. Mm, yes. Classic irresistible hero, pretend to be captured. Beat up armor, enticing scars, soulful eyes. Yeah, yeah, the old dinner and drinks to show off my villainy. They get cozy. And then strike! Or not. <laughs> Why spoil the evening? Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Varum's jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait, lesson. Rats. Rats. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. Ha, huh, now you have to do it. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. Kalo. Kalo, please, not now. Not when we're so close. Ryder. You must. Go! Uh... It won't end this way. There's no justice in this galaxy. But there will be. Do me next. I swear to love you. A thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax. So many years lost. We were so foolish. 
Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again.